Math 3, Final Benchmark, Question 5. The table shows the work of a student who rewrites the expression x to the 6th minus 4y to the 6th. Which expression is missing in Step 1 that allows the student to complete the factorization shown in Step 2? Alright, so it looks like we're dealing with properties of exponents here when it talks about rewriting an expression. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, they are simply taking like the sixth power and rewriting it as a different power. So if I look at this last step, it appears that they're using a difference of squares. The reason I say that is because it's the sign, same binomial, different sign in the middle. <clears throat> All right, so if that's a difference of squares, we want perfect squares to be in step one. So if I think about x to the sixth minus 4y to the sixth, what can I rewrite this as that I'm going to have perfect squares? So I'm going to rewrite this as something squared. All right, so what times 2 gives me 6? Because properties of exponents says a power to a power, you multiply. So that's going to be a 3. And then my 4 is a perfect square, so I know that's going to be um, 2. But then I have to do the same thing with y that I did with x. I want to have something squared. So again, I'm going to have y to the third squared. And that equals y to the sixth, because properties of exponents you multiply. So all we did was rewrite this expression using properties of exponents here. So that would be step one right here. So our answer to number five is going to be x cubed squared minus 2y cubed squared. Now again, you can see the first two, they put um, the three or the cubed on the outside. So we can automatically eliminate those because we know that this is going to be a difference of squares. So it really helps knowing what the perfect square trinomials and the different squared formula is. Um, it just kind of helps alleviate that. And then for C part, 4 squared is 16, and we just have 4 here. So C cannot be correct because they did not um, change the 4 there. So the correct answer for number 5 is D.